Uh, but it's very cool. It's exciting. I mean, it's autumn, so you kind of start thinking about beer in the autumn. You start putting away kind of the pilsners and the summer beers, maybe the sours. Um, so I know we have, and you sent me a few over, actually four different kinds. So I'm pretty excited about yeah. this. So what's the big one for you guys this fall? Um, so the big one right now is that Cosmic Autumn Pumpkin Rebellion. So that's our our pumpkin beer. It's a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie beer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that that's guy. That's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's a mouthful. Um, so it's a Flaming Lips song. And because they have been up at the Ogden Twilight a couple of times, um, mm -hmm. we're all kind of Flaming Lips fans. Uh, so we figured, you know, if we're going to do a pumpkin beer, just put it way out there. Have a, a crazy name. Yeah, <laughs> and, I was, yeah, I was at is. both of those shows. And I mean, talk about one of the best live bands ever. But uh, I think I'm going to have to just give this a pour and see what it looks like here so everybody can see. Now, where can people pick this up? Is this available uh, widely or just at your breweries and restaurants? Um, so it is, it has a little bit of a footprint for as seasonal as it is. Um, to go, it's only available at the B Street location, which is my lovely uh, background, like green screened oh. background. This is a picture of our B Street location, uh, the actual production spot. Uh, but we have a bar attached and a package agency. So to go only there, uh, it's 2325 B Avenue in Ogden. But it's available in house at all three locations. Um, Craft by Proper had it. I know Slackwater Sandy and then Slackwater up here in Ogden had it as well. So uh, it's pretty much up and down, you know, the Wasatch. Front yeah, front yeah. Front like front. kind of, I, you're more like craft driven uh, bars, like craft specific beer bars. So nice. Well, I like it. You know, it's it's a it's lighter than I thought it was going to be, which I like. I'm yeah. not really into super dark beers, but this looks. I mean, normally I don't start till three, but it's Thursday. But I mean, why not? It's Thursday, right? <laughs> you got to Friday, so why not? No, that's really yeah. good. Yeah, we tried to make it hmm. pretty much exactly like a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. So we wanted it to look like one, kind of have that like lighter orangey flavor. Um, and then I personally think that the bitterness from the chocolate in there kind of helps cut the pumpkin spices. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a huge. Yeah, I think I'm on the same page as you. I'm not big on the big yeah. part pumpkin spice thing. Pumpkin pie, not so much. Maybe a cookie or something like that. But uh, you're yeah. right. This is great. And I just made a huge crock pot full of chili for this weekend. So this is going to be oh, there almost you go. Perfect. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. Um, well, I like this a lot. And I have a few glasses here so I can kind of do a bit of a, uh, a round roosters here. Um, yeah. So what's the next one? I, I got a few here. I've got the the double IPA. I've got the honey wheat. I've got the high desert uh, hazy IPA. Which which one do you think I should go for next? Um, do the honey wheat. We probably should have started with that one because it's the lightest. Um, but you just had a sip of the pumpkin, so you should be good. So this one's this is like our flagship beer. This is a five percent. So that's going to be pretty much in any grocery store that our beer is in. They'll have that honey wheat. Um, it was. I want to say like the second recipe that was brewed at 25th street, um, back in 1995 when we opened and we've won, I, we've probably won the most medals with that beer. And I laugh because as far as like production staff, it's our least favorite beer to drink. Um, because it's just like, it's easy drinking. It's great. It's like kind of a lawn mowing beer. It just um, gets everywhere. Like, you know, you just want to crack a beer and enjoy it. Yeah. It's like that's the beer you do. Right. But I want something with a little more uh, craziness to it, I guess. But, but yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is just great. You're right. Just sit down and just enjoy honey. Wheat's always good and light. I mean, why not? Yeah. Yep. Go for it. Um, and then the high desert is what I would do next. So that's another one of our 5% beers. Um, and that one is our uh, first session hazy that we did. So I always like to say that that can, uh, that beer is like kind of like me embodied in a can. I love hazy IPAs. The desert's my jam. So I'm like, that's, that's like me in a beer. Well, my buddy, Nick, who's the biggest beer snob that I know, this is one of his favorites. Oh, awesome. Um, that makes yeah. me so happy. He loves, he loves this stuff. Um, he often wishes he lived in a different state so he could just buy it in kegs, but, uh, right. but that's Nick. so yeah, this looks fantastic too. I mean, but that one's all uh, New Zealand hops. So you get like all those nice fruity flavors. Yeah, a little sweet. sweetness there at the start, which is really great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then our kind of our heaviest hitting beer that's not like a massive lager uh, or a barrel aged beer is our double IPA. So it's 8%. Right, right. Um, yeah. Ooh, I'll be walking to the grocery store today. <laughs> right? I mean, it's Just a very a exciting Thursday. Place, right? Yeah. Um, that one's got, again, like it's a little bit more malty. Um, 
not as malty as like a, a traditional West Coast IPA. Um, I want to say it's kind of a hybrid. We like to refer to it as like a, an Intermountain IPA where you do get like hints of that super West Coast dank, but then all like the tropical New England kind of flavors come in at the end. So I like that one. I like them all. You know, good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's beer. It's delicious. It's the fall, you know, open the windows, crack a beer open and enjoy time with your family because you need more of that these days. Exactly. So, well, that's fantastic. So um, what what else do you plan for the rest of your Any more specialty flavors coming out? I think I saw you guys have a, a seltzer plan, which, you know, obviously all the rage these days. Yeah, seltzers are not going away. Um, <laughs> and I like, as a craft beer brewer, I have those times when I just want a seltzer, a boozy seltzer. So we do, we have actually been producing draft seltzers throughout the summer, um, but those will be coming out in a mixed pack of cans, hopefully before 2021. Um, we're waiting for federal approval on all that stuff, but uh, we'll have a mojito flavor, a watermelon lime, and then a blood orange mango. So, wow. so nice. Like good flavor. I've seen some seltzers with like very weird flavors, like acorns and peanuts and just weird a little too much on that. So I think you guys have some yeah. very good flavors lined up. I'll look forward to trying those as well. Yeah. And then for Thanksgiving, um, again, kind of going with like our dessert theme, we had that pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. So we have a 5% uh, brown ale that is a pecan pie brown ale that's going to be coming out in cans. And we'll try and get that in some probably more like C stores because it's a seasonal, um, but it will be on some shelves and grocery throughout the Wasatch Front and then to go at any of our locations since it's a 5%. And I mean, with Thanksgiving coming up and a pandemic and an election and the Zoom calls you're dealing with your folks, you're probably going to want to stock up on on some of these, you know, whether you're Ogden, Layton, or of course, the tap room you have up on B Street, a good yeah. place to visit. Yeah, so, for sure. I like them all. I think I'm going to, uh, I have to call up a friend or something, help me finish these up because it's, it's going to be a long afternoon for me uh, in the best possible way. So I want to thank you, Jackie, for stopping in and telling us about the beers and sharing some beer with me today. Uh, it's a great way to end my week and uh, everybody go out and grab some food from roosters. I imagine, you know, you have some dining options available at your restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We do. Um, we have food at all three locations. Um, the 25th street and the Layton locations are both restaurants. So all ages. Um, and then that B street location is 21 and over. Um, but we do have a pretty good food menu out there. And most people that come to the bar actually order food too. So. So yeah, grab a meal, grab a, grab a beer, you know, be safe about it. I'm sure you guys have all of your protocols in order and everything like that. Yeah, yep. Outdoor seating. Um, we just got our heaters up and running out at B Street um, and the patio is dog friendly. So that B Street location, the patio will be open year round. So. And this weekend's going to actually be kind of nice to sit out and have a beer outside. I really think it is. Yeah, yep, for sure. All right. Well, Jackie King, once again, you're uh, the head of research and development, which is a mouthful for a beer company, I can only imagine. For yeah. a creative job. I want to thank you for uh, spending some time with us today and once again sharing some beer. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on.